what advice you would have for organizations? And also you said, you know, myopic view because in the security space, it's very the popular uh, you know, night lamp, you know, that you're looking where you expect problem will happen. But as you said, you know, the good guys, as I say, the, the bad guys have to be right only once. And as a good guy, you have to be right all the time. That's the big difference. So, so talk about uh, what advice you have for organizations that not only they, once they get the pin the target on their back, they will be attacked again and again and again, but is there something that they can do culturally or practice-wise that will at least offer them a greater level of protection? And that's why I like to talk about the cyber kill chain. And if you go something like the MITRE attack framework, the top of that attack framework, all the steps are reconnaissance, gain access, execute your payload, you know, com- set up command and control. If you stop any one of those, you're going to break the chain of attack. And so I- I'd like to think they have to get it right multiple times to be successful, and we have opportunities to stop them. And so how do we do that? You know, the first is under- t- understand your attack surface. You know, make sure that, that you minimize your attack surface and then be looking both north, south, and east, west. You know, have internal segmentation and visibility internally. So as they try to spread, you detect that. Next is, you know, update your playbooks. Make sure they're validated through exercises. You know, it, it's incredible that, that you go through, if it's a tabletop, if it's a technical exercise, you get leadership expectations right, you know who's involved, those playbooks have to be validated. And almost quarterly would be, be you know, if you have a quarterly exercise, you'll get through all your critical playbooks. You know, next, we, we have these indicators of compromise. You know, it might be coming through DNS. It might be coming through, you know, warp traffic. You need to really kind of do a gap assessment and say, how am I able to monitor outbound traffic? How am I able to monitor internal data flows? to discover indicators of compromise. The next is kind of a different one. You know, it's the traditional cyber hygiene. Are you patching? Are you doing security training? Uh, Those basic things that we should be doing. And finally, outside of the security team, work with your legal team because we're seeing more and more laws come out that says, if you live in this state, or if you live in this region, it is illegal to pay a ransomware, or you have to notify if you do, or, you know, and so make sure your legal team is plugged into the regulations in that environment so you don't do something inadvertently that's not, not within the law. 